Let's talk about secondary glaucoma. Secondary glaucoma is a type of glaucoma that develops as a result of other eye conditions which lead to increased intraocular pressure, glaucomatous changes, and vision loss. Secondary glaucoma can be caused by an eye trauma, inflammation, advanced cases of cataracts, diabetes, or vascular diseases, and tumors. It may also arise in patients with prolonged use of corticosteroids, laser or conventional surgery, retinal detachment, or retinal vein occlusion or blockage. Treatment of secondary glaucoma is directed towards both the underlying problem as well as lowering the intraocular pressure with the standard glaucoma therapies. In early stage, when no damage has been done to the optic nerve, removing the cause of the disease leads to its cure, but some types of secondary glaucoma are difficult to treat. According to the cause of secondary glaucoma, uh, secondary glaucoma can be of different types with its particular clinical picture and symptoms. Right, so uh, in this video, we are going to talk about pigmentary glaucoma, exfoliative glaucoma, neovascular glaucoma, uveitic glaucoma or uveitis glaucoma, steroid-induced glaucoma, phacolytic glaucoma, phacomorphic glaucoma, and traumatic glaucoma, also known as post-traumatic glaucoma. Right, starting with the pigmentary glaucoma. Pigmentary glaucoma is a type of inherited open angle glaucoma which is caused by deposition of the iris pigment granules in the trabecular meshwork leading to progressive trabecular dysfunction and ocular hypertension with associated uh, glaucomatous optic neuropathy. Secondary glaucoma is a classic uh, triad. It is characterized by homogeneous pigmentation of the trabecular meshwork, transillumination defects, and pigment along the endothelium. It's called Krukenberg spindle. Right, so this is the classic triad. So, uh, Krukenberg spindles, you can see uh, mid peripheral iris transillumination defects and dense trabecular pigmentation. The next type is exfoliative glaucoma. It is also known as pseudo exfoliation or pseudo exfoliative glaucoma. It is a capsule type of open angle glaucoma caused by abnormal accumulation of protein in the drainage system and other structures of the eye that leads to blockage of aqueous humor outflow resulting in intraocular pressure increase. As a group, patients with exfoliative glaucoma show higher pressures and faster disease progression than patients with classic primary open angle glaucoma. Exfoliative glaucoma arises secondary to pseudo exfoliation syndrome, which is actually a systemic disease. The exact etiology of this condition remains unknown. Right, so here uh, you can see like uh, the deposits on the anterior capsule uh, in a manner resembling a target, right? Um, if you play games, you know, <laughs> I, I usually play um, this called archer, right? Archer game, right? So it is a specific target. They look just like these pictures. Okay. Uh, and also we can see small white fibrilla deposits on the anterior capsule 
or on the pupil margin right so on the margin here you can see the white deposits right okay neovascular glaucoma neovascular glaucoma is a form of open angle glaucoma caused by abnormal formation of new blood vessels on the iris and over the eye's drainage channels that blocks the outflow of the aqueous humor, causing an increase in intraocular pressure. It is more often associated with advanced diabetes, very important, central retinal occlusion, intraocular tumors, long-standing retinal detachments, and chronic intraocular inflammation right so if you look here uh you can see neovascularization here neovascularization next is uveitic glaucoma or uveitis glaucoma this is a type of open angle glaucoma caused by chronic inflammation of uvea uveitis can cause increased intraocular pressure when inflammatory debris obstruct the trabecular meshwork resulting in decreased aqueous humor outflow from the eye in the long term inflammation can also cause scar tissue that further obstructs the fluid outflow in addition Long-term corticosteroid treatment can also cause elevated intraocular pressure as a side effect, which brings us to the next type of secondary glaucoma called steroid-induced glaucoma. Steroid-induced glaucoma is a type of open-angle glaucoma caused by prolonged use of corticosteroids in any form that results in intraocular pressure increase. So if we stop uh, this medication, we can eliminate the effects. Withdrawal of the medication usually eliminates the effect. Right, so the next type, I just grouped uh, those glaucomas is lens-induced glaucomas, right? So, uh, lens-induced glaucomas can be divided into two. Lens-induced secondary angle closure glaucoma and lens-induced secondary open angle glaucoma. In lens-induced secondary angle closure glaucoma, uh, we find phacomorphic glaucoma, phacotopic glaucoma, right? So, this is to do with the movement of the lens right is also known as uh, hypertonias right but it's very rare in ophthalmology right okay lens induced secondary open angle glaucoma uh, in, uh, comprises of phacolytic glaucoma lens particle glaucoma phacoanaphylactic glaucoma right so let's talk about uh, two of these uh, phacomorphic and phacolytic glaucoma Right, so phacomorphic glaucoma is a type of angle closure glaucoma caused by excessive enlargement of the lens and its opacification that leads to narrowing or even closure of the anterior chamber angle resulting in intraocular pressure increase. It can be successfully treated surgically but only at initial stages until the optic nerve is damaged. Facolytic glaucoma is a type of acute open angle glaucoma occurring secondary to hypermature, sometimes uh, mature, but in rare cases, immature cataracts, and occlusion of the trabecular drainage meshwork with the lens material. Right, so if you look here, you see the, the lens here, and this is the what? This is the iris, right? And this is the anterior chamber, right? 
So hypermature cataracts are leaking proteins into the anterior chamber here. And you can see macrophages plugging trabecular meshwork, right? Thus, facolytic glaucoma. The next is traumatic glaucoma or post-traumatic glaucoma, right? This is a type of glaucoma caused by eye injury. It can develop as a result of either blockage of the anterior chamber angle with uh, blood cells, adjacent anatomical structures, or by damage to the drainage meshwork that leads to intraocular pressure increase. Thank you so much. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are enjoying these uh, videos we are uploading, please. Uh, feel free to subscribe. It's free of charge. Until next time.